everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the advanced c++ sfml game series and in this video we are going to begin adding sound to our game so in order to use sound what you need to do is you need to of course make sure you are linking against the uh, audio subsystem of sfml in your linker settings and we need to include sfml slash audio dot hpp and uh, this would include all of the correct audio stuff and when it comes to sound sfml basically provides two classes one is audio and the other is music and uh, uh, we of course use music for playing music and audio for playing other sound effects and uh, uh, in our simple game that we have got we haven't implemented a whole lot of features so we are going to implement a couple of sounds like uh, uh, a sound for jumping and a sound effect and basically a sound effect for jumping and some music so let's go ahead and try to do that first of all I will go ahead and include audio.hpp in resources as well and create a uh, well, did not mean to run it actually. So let's go ahead and close that. And yes, cancel, disable this, close this, and yeah. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a std colon colon unordered map of sound buffer as and call it sounds. Now the reason we are using sound buffer here is uh, a sound buffer is basically like a texture, while an actual sound is like a sprite. It will use that buffer to run, uh, do the sounds, and this buffer will the one actually storing the data. So of course we want to have multiple sounds with the essentially the same thing so uh, a sound will represent an actual instance so we'll just do it like this we will uh, implement this here and in game.cpp we can load it pretty normally using the same method to using directory iterator but this time we will actually go under resources slash sounds and we will go ahead and uh, check for some sound file extension like dot ogg and this and uh, of course we can use resources colon colon sounds here and sound buffer has the same load from file method and this should load all of our sounds from file as well now music is a bit different so sound files generally small sound files like say a jump effect are very very small while the musics a uh, music may last several minutes and if it is high quality music especially uh, if it's high quality music then it will be quite obviously very uh, large file for to actually read and uh, uh, the music class won't actually just uh, uh, you know uh, like you know this buffer thing will load the whole file in memory and it will use that whenever we need it however if we load the whole music into memory that might uh, use a lot of memory and also cause a bunch of problems so the music class will actually open the file and will keep it open and keep reading data from it it will stream the data live until uh, the whole thing is complete which means that the file is needed to be present present uh, throughout the whole duration of the program or else it won't work and of course we can't close the file or use it anywhere else so uh, it won't load it and it will have much better performance for music so for music we are only going to have one thing here so let's not uh, go ahead and make it too complicated and we can create a single music here call it uh, music that is actually very easy we can uh, go under music Bef after we have done doing this we can just go under music and open it from the music.ogg file and uh, then we can go ahead and say music.play and uh, maybe we can also say music.set loop to true and I'm actually going to take this play and move this down here we'll play it after we have finished uh, setting up everything else and this set loop true will mean that once it stopped playing it will start playing again so the stream will restart from the beginning so we'll we'll just do that and uh, that looks awesome and uh, with that we can just say that uh, yeah that sh that should play our music sound from that file correctly so let's try that out you can see i set the volume to 50 since this just background music it should not have like full volume and let's go ahead and try that out and uh, see if our music plays remember you should have the file in the correct position you should have downloaded it you can download some kind of music online and uh, it should be pretty easy and let's try this out so what you should see is that the music does start playing and indeed you can hear the music playing in the background and uh, that sounds pretty awesome and this music will keep playing throughout the course of the game and uh, just having music in our game makes it uh, sound a lot more realistic and also quite more interesting than what we had previously so yeah that's pretty awesome and uh, uh, now let's try to implement a jumping sound effect for Mario so that he also there are some actual dynamic sounds here instead of just one long music in order to do that uh, create a jump sound effect for Mario I'm going to create a SF colon colon sound here this time a sound called jump sound and uh, let's just go under here and and create a audio.hpp here since yeah let's include that and uh, include the header and in here we are just going to say jump sound dot set buffer and we are going to set it to resources colon colon sounds and say jump dot web 
And this is uh, the kind of approach we are taking for our sounds here. We are just <laughs> creating a variable and setting its value. Now that's all right. And what you might want to do is you might want to have it be in a uh, different kind of way. So currently we are just doing this by setting a buffer directly, and we are uh, you know just running it. But uh, uh, you might want to have it the way we do it in the renderer. So we will create a sound player maybe and do that, or we can just leave it at this. If you want to do that, that's exercise I'm leaving up to yourself if you do want to create a separate kind of uh, uh, you know class to handle the sound which will maybe have a function called play and which will require a sound buffer and that's pretty much it it will require a sound buffer and it will play the correct sound but for now we are we are going to do is when we jump we are going to of course set the velocity but we are also going to say jump sound dot play and that should uh, well play the jump sound so let's go ahead and run that and see what happens Alright, so once it has compiled and uh, the program is running, what you should see is that the music does play. So, yeah, you can see music plays. But as soon as I jump, the sound effect for jumping plays as well. Uh, it might be a bit too uh, loud. So, yeah, you can see that's how loud it is currently. And it plays then as you jump. And uh, you, if you want to, you can, of course, tune down the volume. And that uh, is pretty much. Uh, all we need to do to incorporate sound in our game and of course as we add more stuff we'll probably make more sounds to go with this so yeah we'll do that in the next video and the video after that we'll try to add more stuff to our game for example currently we only have a ba black background but it'll be fun to have a sky background so we'll do those things in the next video make sure to stay tuned for that see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people and i'll see you in the next one and bye